And welcome back, folks. Not that. I was going to right click on that. And, uh, Shimada Garrison. Armor and weapons. Alright. And Psalms of Dawa. I looked up. This is, uh, improves weapon craft and armor craft. This improves defense, and this improves assessment. Alright, and let's hurry up and click that before I forget again. Some graves. Big uh oh if I uh, forgot to heal after the last one. And I did forget to heal after the last one. It's a brilliant game, brilliant. Kill this before. Uh... There we go. Should be Malik's Cross right to the south of here. Scald. I hope you haven't come for a match. It's already over. I don't know why I'm giving my dwarven voice one fix. Match? What kind of match? You're in the Queen's Row and you ask the question? That question? A chess match, of course. It was wondrous. Jamie Tiller was defending his title against that snot nosed prat from the Abbey, Cal Fisher. Jamie opened, moved his queen pawns to fourth rank. Fisher opened with an abar's gambit, arrogant cud. But Jamie actually maneuvered it into, into it with his knight. <clears throat> was thinking that he was going for the queen, but he sacrificed his king's rook and took the priest. It's a brilliant move, but it left his own queen vulnerable, didn't it? You've got a good head for the game, senior. The prince likes to play, but we don't always have a board handy. Once you learn to play in your head, a board almost becomes redundant. I have to admit it's tougher earlier into the game. More pieces to keep track of. It's still fun to watch, though. That's why the Queen's Row is here. Perhaps I can relate the rest of the game over ale. Assuming you gents are buying, what can I get you today? Wow, he has a lot to talk about, isn't it? <clears throat> Wouldn't be much of a pub if, I, if you couldn't. Is it to eat here, or are you looking for something for the road? The road, if your cook can make up a batch of rations, that would be fine. No, we don't want them. Huh. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> the Abai is developing quite a reputation, isn't it? I've heard a number of stories. I doubt you've heard the stories I've heard about the place. They produce a few fine minds there, aye, but they're also a refuse heap for nobles who wish to get their sons out of from underfoot. The majority of them are runts. And the few that aren't? The eh, special ones, they're fine men, Bishop willing. They'll grow into fine dukes and barons and such. A lot of them have become wonderful tacticians. 
That's what the Abbey specializes in. Do you keep things that people have lost here? Sometimes if it interests me, or if it seems like they would be coming back for it. Why, have you lost something here before? No, I was just wondering if there was anything interesting you found that you think it's unlikely the original owner is going to come back for. If so, I might be interested in taking him off your hands. Probably wouldn't do me any harm to clear out the area beneath the bar. I believe there are probably a few things. Tell you what, I'll sell you a lot of them. Sight and seen for, say, 50 sovereigns? Deal? Yes. So, take it all. Ooh. Um, let's not challenge him yet. Sorry, but you piqued my curiosity. What is an N Passa? I've seen quite a few variations of chess, but I don't think I've ever heard of that move. It's Kishin. One night I was playing this fellow from Durban. I had my game swinging on one particular pawn, and that game was in my favor. So what does he do but move his pawn to the square directly behind mine? then claimed to have captured my piece. That's an illegal move. So I said. He goes on and tells me it's one of the most fundamental moves of the game. We argued about it for three hours until a student ran from the Queen's Road to the Abbey to dig up an old book. And there it was, back of the text, written in Keishan, the original rules to the game, in Passai. It cost me two diamonds, and very nearly the Queen's Row itself. Needless to say, I don't allow that role to be played in here anymore. The last fellow that tried to use it on me was a fellow named Navon Du Sandow, and I set him straight. Though he showed me an incredible move he invented called Sandow's Retreat. Can't quite remember how it worked now, though. Isn't there another move like the Abar's Gambit, but a little different? Ah, there's Abar's Turn. That's a brave man's gambit. In the right place, it's all about the most powerful structure a man can put out, but in the wrong place, it can cost you dearly. How does it work? I'll not be teaching you to play, teaching you that play. If you knew truly how to use it, I'd have to give up playing chess against you. The very fact that you even know about the move tells me you know the game altogether too well. With all the trade moving back and forth through here, I imagine you talk to quite a few traders. I talked to my fair share. <clears throat> Mostly the Queen's Row is a haven for the students from the Abbey. Anything unusual going on up on that someone making a long trip should know? Bridge out somewhere? Bandits attacking? The only thing odd I've heard recently is that Lord Lighton's got a bunch batch of tax collectors stopping folk what are trying to get in and out of Lighton. Some ridiculous high amount of gold. If folks don't have it, the collectors just direct them out the other way or ends up splitting their spleens for him. Of course, the merchants around here wouldn't make a pence if they stood for it. They've apparently found some way to sneak around the guards. Ah, goodbye for now.